Hello Autobots and Decepticons, my name is Soulmongry and today I'm bringing you some Transformers Dark of the Moon and I'm rocking Commander Soundwave. And Soundwave, he's a pretty sweet character, I really like playing with him and I really enjoy his roles in the movies, he's like got that sinister kind of Soundwave voice and he's got some cool sound effects always and he's always an interesting transformation in like a Revenge of the Fallen, he was a crazy airplane and... He was a G1, he was the boombox, and in this game he is an SUV, even though in the movie he was a Mercedes-Benz car. But I like starting out going up top on the bridge here because usually both the Autobots and Decepticons will go right at each other, Right, they spawn right directly across. So here you see me using the flank off the start and picking up a 3 kill streak. And here comes Breakaway waltzing in, and I'm going to punch him, use my Soundwave ability, and shoot him a couple of times. So Soundwave superior, Breakaway inferior. And we got it going on here with four early kills. I got an orbital beacon for my team. And I'm going to help out over here on this guy and just walk around the corner and just last a couple times and side swipe is done for. So that's a pretty early five kill streak. I got all five of my team's kills. I'm sure everybody else is dropping assists for me. And this is a great map to walk around as a team together. And there was Megatron button me out of the way and he got the overshield so that's a good thing because then I can go down here pick up the double damage and flank again behind these guys and Optimus just notices me here so he's going to use the barrier to the best of his ability but my other teammate who was also using the sound wave is right behind me helping out so I'm going to use my red shield with him and help him pick up that last kill and I got a 7 kill streak to start the game so pretty awesome start to the game Shows the importance of starting strategy. This is my favorite map to play just because I like doing that strategy to start because I know everybody's going to be standing off in the front. So here you see me following around the other sound wave right in front of me and it's two on one and that's an easy kill for us. And it's always a good idea to follow around with pairs in this map especially because of such tight corners. You're going to be able to get double teams on one or two people, maybe triple teams. And then here you see me charging his ability up. I love how that looks when he charges his gun up, his cannon, he's got that crazy beam on the right side of his arm, and we are just cruising around, we got three Decepticons rolling together now, so we're just walking around together, and we've doubled their score, 12 to 6 right now, and I actually just missed an Autobot, I believe he was behind me, I thought he was on my team because he had a blue shield, there he is, so here we got Ironhide, and he had heavy iron on me to start, so I'm already at a disadvantage, but I'm putting some damage into him, and hopefully I can get an assist. Pretty awesome start though, I mean I'll take that every time, I believe it was either a 7 or an 8-0 start, had every, helped out my whole team, got the abilities, the shields on, and that guy's taking a breath, he's tired. So here, seeing two of my guys, so I'm going to follow them and see what's going on. It's a good idea to also have somebody in stealth force mode in this map sometimes, because then the other person behind you, if you're rolling around together, can shoot over your head easier, and you're not just shooting into the back of your teammate's head. So here we're cruising along, I got Optimus in front of me, I'm going to use my Stealth Force mode a little bit on him. I'm not a huge fan of Stealth Force mode, you guys know that. Just I like to be able to use my abilities on these guys and get use my primary weapons and switch guns. But here Optimus is giving me some trouble, but I finish him up quick. So got him down and here's Soundwave again next to me, my brother Soundwave. And this guy's still taking a rest, he must be pretty tired, he's just staring at the wall. And then here's another guy, I know he's coming in here trying to ram me, but I'm evading him and punching him once, just taking him down. So he must have been a little weak beforehand, so I finished up a kill for somebody there. And my team's just cruising right now, 18 to 11. I noticed a couple people over here, also picking up a weak guy right there, and getting another 3 kill streak. So I'm trying to shoot from afar, I don't want to crowd Soundwave on the bridge there. Just because the bridge, I can't really help out. If anything, I get injured there and I gotta drop down and duck away and I can't help out. So I might as well shoot from a distance there and help my buddy out. And then the orbital beacons on. They're all hanging out in the back here. So we got this game pretty much wrapped up here. It's 22 to 13. Got a pretty big lead. So I was kind of just wondering uh, how many of you guys are planning on buying the movie and coming out here pretty soon. I'm pretty excited for it. Haven't seen it since opening day and I just can't wait to watch it again. I do remember my favorite part from the movie before did involve Soundwave, so that's kind of why I picked this game, but it was Soundwave on the losing end. There you see me ram, ram Iron Eye and pick up a 5 kill streak. 
but I like the part where Bumblebee was about to get executed, and then he did the spin kick on Soundwave, and then shoved his cannon inside Soundwave's chest and blew his head out that way. I thought that part was awesome. That was probably my favorite kill in the movie, and that was pretty, pretty epic. So I'm just excited to relive that movie again. I know you miss some things when you first watch a movie, especially in 3D. I feel like I look at just like way too many different things while I'm watching this 3D because I'm always like, oh, 3D. But, you know, I just can't wait to watch the movie again and just appreciate it. And maybe I'll even throw up the triple series before I get it and maybe watch one, two, and three all together. But let me know what you guys think is the best part in that movie or what your favorite part is. Or maybe something that you found in the movie that would be cool for me to look for the next time when I watch it here. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Soundwave video. Remember to leave a comment, leave a rating, and subscribe for more Transformers. Have a great day, guys.